Hello guys and uh, welcome to this new video. So we play against uh, Mario Kata. Uh, I just see that my screen is uh, is not good uh, to show my name Blitzstream with black, but I, I hope it's okay for you to watch this one. So D4, Knight, F6, C4, C6. Uh, so going uh, going with a... Uh, oh, I want to go with a slab, but I don't want to get into the... I don't want to get into um, a Catalan, so I, I develop my pieces this way. Uh, let me go e5 here. So I'm ready to go to the end game. Okay. Um, <clears throat> don't quite like this opening. I don't quite like what's happening here. Let's go bishop at g4. Uh, so the, the center has been closed up. This bishop is kind of buried here, but uh, it's not a type of position where I'm good. It's pretty much closed. Uh, what are my plans here? Let's go bishop d7, knight a6, and knight c5. Uh, okay, I can play queen c8 first to have a look at the h h3 pawn. Um, can I take on d5? No, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, I can try maybe b5 here. So b5, if pawn c6, bishop c6, it's okay. And if pawn d b5, I play, uh, if pawn b5, pawn d5. And if pawn c6, bishop c6, pawn b5. And bishop takes b5. And the knight is uh, is is, uh, is pinned. Could have taken with the knight as well. But okay, let's do it this way. I hope I don't miss anything because I feel in a fog. But now this bishop on b5 is well placed uh, because it's forbidding uh, white to, to proceed with the castle. Just go bishop a6. Okay. Uh, can we go here bishop b7 now? Kind of dancing with the bishop. But the bishop is doing good on this diagonal as well. Uh, okay, uh, knight to c6. And maybe knight b4 is coming. Oh god, this is a free pawn. I was aiming for this one for a really long time. Um, okay, so we are doing good here. Uh, but uh, it's not quite finished. I can take knight b4. Okay, let's take. Go knight to b4 and, and bishop takes d5. Uh, okay, let's just... Grab, grab, and grab. Okay, let's take, take, and take. Okay, so we are two pawns up. Uh, we are two pawns up, and now I play a5, so I can bury the bishop uh, and get and get my rook on c8. Uh, also, after rook c7, now I have a move like rook f7, uh, training the piece to keep bishop g5, uh, activating my bishop and training the pawn. Okay, uh, can I play? Let's play f4. Even if it's not the first move that came to my mind, uh, I think Check. with those two bishops, opening Check. up the position must lead to a win. Okay, saving the day, but uh, not for long. Okay, it's a free knight. Uh, okay, um, okay, just take. Let's make it simple. I could have taken the hook in a move, uh, but okay. Let's... Uh, Check. Let's just tread everything off. He's going to play rook c1, running a checkmate, but okay, it's never coming on. Check. And now let's push the two pawns we have on the queen side. Okay, h4. Uh, okay, rook check. g5, check. Uh, I'm playing slowly. I don't know why. Check. Because it's pretty easy to win. But I'm not being quick now. Okay, so now rook f3. Uh, would win the rook. Okay, rook g1. Okay, from here. I can't miss that, can I? Check. Can I miss that? Can I miss that win? I'm not sure I can. Okay. I think I know how to checkmate that one. Okay. So he made he made life uh, life a bit hot. I mean not harder, but a bit longer. Uh, let's um, 
let's have a look for what happened. I like this move queen c queen c8. So d4 knight f6 knight f3 c6. So I wanted to go d5. Uh, but he went g3 and I don't want to go to a Catalan. So I decided to play d6. Uh, bishop f5 knight c3 e5. Here of course he can go to this end game. Check. But it's okay for black. The king comes to c7. The knight to d7. Bishop can go, come to d6. The knight to c5. The pawn to a5, the rook to d8, and this is this is okay. So he went uh, d5, bishop e7, e4, bishop g4, f uh, queen c2. Should probably have played f3. Uh, so castle h3, bishop d7. So I want to go bishop d7, queen c8, and knight a6, and have a look on this pawn. Knight f3, queen c8. So I wanted, I thought he would play g4 here. And I could have tried this b5 move. So with this move, with this queen looking at the diagonal and the, and the file, uh, was probably a good move, this queen c8. He went bishop e3, b5 now. So as I said, if you take on c6, I take with the bishop, that's what happened. And if you take on b5, I take on d5, probably. And after pawn takes, I wanted to go bishop takes b5. Okay, the computer likes white here. So maybe that's what's not that great, but... Uh, Bishop d7, knight a6, knight b4, bishop f5. That's the way I would have played that. Don't trust the computer too much because he sees moves like knight takes c5, uh, which are tactical reason why it's not that good for black. But I mean, uh, I'm pretty confident it's uh, it was uh, a good setup and a good idea at least. So he went pawn takes, bishop takes. So now I'm adding a pressure on e4. So he takes, I take back. Now I have the Lebron James on b5. Plays rook c1, bishop a6, always keeping this eye on, on f1. Now I replace my bishop, knight c6, so I won't play knight b4, queen e6 maybe coming as well. And here he made the blunder, castle. He forgot this guy on c8, and this is game over pretty much quickly. So take, 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 knight b4, bishop f5. Oh, I had uh, the easy queen takes f1 as well. But I mean, I, I kind of like this end game because uh, it's two pawns up and uh, it's it's a pretty easy easy play for black. So I think uh, really not, nothing to, to see further. So f4. Now the, the last hesitation I had was to play just g6 and simply push the pawn or f4 to open up the diagonal and the files for the rooks. It made sense. I thought it would take take and play e4 here uh, to, to kind of close up the position. Uh, that, that was I, I was sure I would do that, and uh, I would I would have think uh, of, of what uh, what to do next to to keep it going. But I means two pawns up, so pretty easy game. Uh, two games to win for the moment, so a nice comeback for me. Thank you for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye.